Hey guys, this is Simo from Simo Builds, and today I'm going to be reviewing the LEGO Star Wars set 7962 Anakin's and Sebulba's Pod Racers. This set contains 792 pieces and appears in Episode 1 The Phantom Menace. This was released in 2011 and has five minifigures. Let's look at them now. Here are the two minifigures. On the left is Anakin Skywalker as a young boy, and on the right is Sebulba. Anakin has the shorter legs and has his tattooing outfit on. He has a belt on his torso, and he does have a double face, and I'll show you the other side here in a moment. And he also does have a nice helmet, which is similar to that of an X-Wing fighter. Obviously, the mold is the same, but the detailing is quite different. And, obviously, it's Boba on the right. He looks very nice. He's a three-piece minifigure, one for each hand or leg. I think they're actually hands, and then the rest of him is all one piece. So, he's standing on his hands right now, and his feet and legs are in front. That's all one piece. And for his legs, he kind of has a hook, and you'll see why that's useful in a little bit. And he does have a very nice mold for the rest of his body. Uh, there's markings of purple, gray, and I guess beige. So he looks pretty nice, good minifigure. And uh, now I'll show you Anakin's second face. So there is his other face. That's just more of his casual face um, when he's not pod racing and he doesn't have his goggles on. Unfortunately, this set doesn't give him hair, so you really can't show too much detail of him being outside of a pod racer. But that is a nice head on the other side. Um, obviously, you can just take hair from other sets. Like I have hair from the... Nabu M1 Starfighter and Vulture Droid, I could just take that hair and put it on this one and that would look great. And that's it for the main two minifigures, so now let's look at the three other ones. Alright, here they are. On the left is Watto, in the middle is Obi-Wan Kenobi, and on the right is Wald. Watto has shorter legs, as does Wald and Anakin, and he has a very nice, I guess, piece that goes over the torso. It kind of gives him a little belly, and uh, his face detailing is very accurate to the movie. It also does include wings on the back of it and a strap and pouch on the front. Obi-Wan Kenobi looks very nice, and he does have a second face. I will show you the other one in a minute. He does include a hood and also a cape, as well as his Jedi Knight outfit. And he does have a blue lightsaber with a semi-luster handle. And Wald is Anakin's friend, so they are both young and both have short legs, the same exact legs. He kind of looks like Greedo in the way that his face looks, and he just is a very nice minifigure. And this is the only set that includes him as of right now, so he is very rare and maybe worth some money. I haven't really looked into it. But now let's look on the pod racers. We will look at Anakin's first. One more thing before I get to the pod racers is Obi-Wan's second head, which I told you I was going to show you. Um, pretty basic, but he's more of a neutral look now, as opposed to the uh, slightly smiling. That one is kind of more neutral or a little more frustrated. So now let's look at Anakin's pod racer. Okay, here is young Anakin Skywalker's pod racer. This is a much smaller model than Sebulba's as it is in the movie, and they represented that pretty good here in the set. So you will notice that this actually does have 18 stickers, 10 up here in the engines and 8 in the cockpit. That is a lot for a model this small. Probably only 100 to 200 pieces in here and there's 18 stickers. So the main thing is all held up on this little sand platform and this entire thing can be removed very easily. It just slides in there, nothing that it sticks in with Technics or anything. And right here we have a lot of transparent Technic beams which hold the, in the entire thing above the ground and they look pretty good. Um, as far as trying to hide them, it doesn't look all that great. Um, if they had transparent Technic, I guess, connectors, that would be even better. But this still looks pretty good, and it was made in 2011, so that was five years ago, six years ago now, just with New Year's. Um, so I guess we'll start up here with the engines. There are ten stickers up here, like I said. Three on each set of, I guess, little flaps. I don't really know what you want to call these. And then there's two on each engine piece up here. We also do have a nice pink transparent beam going across showing the I guess electricity moving throughout the entire pod racer. Um, these are adjustable right here uh, you know if you want to show it I guess this is how it catches wind to slow itself down so that's kinda cool. Engine detailing right here uh, the whole thing just looks pretty nice and the cockpit we'll move on to that now. You can fit a minifigure in here comfortably but unfortunately Anakin does not have uh, legs that allow him to sit so he just kinda stands in there and has these two control levers to hold on to. There are eight stickers here, one here, here, or there's actually three on this, and there's two on each side, three on this like I said, and then there's one up front. Um, really, there's no control panel in there, it's just the two levers, and there's a clear windshield right here. So this is a very basic build, but it does look pretty nice, and it's, it's actually fairly long, but it's not really that many pieces in all. So now let's look at Sebulba's pod racer. Here is the bigger of the two pod racers. This is Sebulba's, and I really like the coloring on this one too. Matches the movie very accurately, and it looks good in Lego. So once again, we will start up here with the engines. Now I didn't really count the stickers on this one, but they're 
probably are a lot of stickers. Uh, just that's a sticker here that matches on both sides. All four wings have it. Um, but these engines are just, it's really, this one's very front heavy, whereas the other one, uh, the cockpit kind of sags. Um, not really the case for this one because all the weight's up here is where all the pieces are. Uh, the engines are very big on this. Um, they're just so much bigger than Anakin's, it's not even really worth comparing the two. So, uh, they look very nice, all very symmetrical, and they look great, like I said. And right here, actually that was just the, that was just this that fell off, but that has the same exact uh, function with all the transparent Technic beams. Same thing, and right here we also do have another transparent beam showing the electricity running between all of the engines. Also stickers right here, forgot to mention. Lots of just random detailing all over the thing. Uh, lots of gold rods. It just looks really nice from far away and close up. But uh, they definitely did a good job detailing that. And uh, once again, we do have two long beams connecting the engines to the cockpit. One other thing about the engines here is that they each have a buzz saw on them. All four of them do, and they're just connected by a droid arm. And this is accurate to the movie, but I just... I think it's kind of weird because when you pull it out, oh, this one actually just broke off. We can look at this one. But when it pulls out, it just kind of, it goes out like that. That wouldn't even be anything like the movie. It sticks out, protrudes from it so it can actually touch Anakin's, but this one doesn't do that. So that's the only thing that's really inaccurate about this from the movie. Um, but other than that, it looks really nice. So we'll look, his cockpit is more boring than Anakin's, believe it or not, even though his had nothing. Like, there's no control panel, no levers, nothing. Um, but this right here... Like I said earlier, um, he sits down like a person would in a normal cockpit, but his hand, or his feet rather, they connect right here. Um, let see if I can get it. It's kind of annoying to get to. There it is. And he just sits in here like this, a little headrest or neck rest, back rest, whatever. And it's just another sticker right here, by the way. But it looks pretty good. Um, this one obviously much bigger than Anakin's, like I said. But... I think they're both really good models and they represent the movie very accurately. So that's pretty much it for both pod racers. Now we can go to the conclusion. Alright, so this was a good set for 2011 and it is the most recent pod racing set, believe it or not. So it has been quite a long time. It's been, as of right now, six years since we've had one of these. And uh, I actually got this just a year ago because I felt like I needed some kind of pod racing set in my collection. And this was the best one it looked to me. I mean, maybe the 1999. Uh, Mas Aspa, Mas Isley Pottery, sorry. And um, that set was more expensive, and these just look so much better than the 1999 Pod Racers. And the minifigure selection is much better in this, too. This Boba and Anakin look great, so does the Waddle. And this set was really worth it for me. I think I got it for $90 on eBay or Breaklink. I don't know. I get them, I get them all over the place. But that pretty much concludes today's review on the LEGO Star Wars set 7962 Anakin's and Sebulba's Pod Racers, and I'll catch you guys all in the next LEGO Star Wars review.